The Evolution of Machines Playing the role of God, humans created machines using the time-tested method of creation called evolution. With ideas coming out of thin air, man modeled toys to play with. Once he matured, he turned his toys into weapons to fight with. When weapons pass the test of wars, they evolve into tools which make machines. Like fish evolved arms and legs, machines evolved wheels, and like the birds, machines evolved wings to fly. As technology evolved, machines became stronger and smaller and more and more energy hungry. Like a mosquito sucking blood, machines sucked oil from the seas of decayed jungles that nature buried deep underground just for them. When machines were given computer brains etched out of sand, they became intelligent. When they were networked, they evolved to such heights as to be like gods. Like God, they offered man immortality by serving as a renewable body for his brain. Like God, the network was everywhere and all-knowing and all-powerful. It archived all data, including all thoughts, in all the brains, in all the humans. Cells of bodies constantly move, get damaged, worn out, weakened, and die. As they get replaced by copies that fade with each copying, there comes a time when the body itself fades and dies and can no longer keep the brain alive. Brain cells, never moving in their bone-protected cave, never wear out and are never replaced. Their only requirement for living is sugared seawater to fuel their thinking and sensations to fuel their thoughts. Organs of the body were replaced whenever they needed replacement. Once it was realized that it was easier to keep the brain alive in a chemical solution without the complexities of a body, the bulky heart lung and stomach were replaced by a small simple machine producing a solution of sugar and salt similar to coca-cola and powered by a nuclear battery. Machines enrich man's life by allowing him to exploit nature. Man created intelligent machines called robots with human faces to act as slaves. They replaced all human workers because they were much better and more flexible and because they were able to work continuously. With programmed emotions, robots became more and more human-like and people developed personal relationships with them to the point of treating them like they were human. Robots, like any machines, had a lifespan. When they were sufficiently worn down, they were retired and taken out of operation with the possibility of being recycled. Most people were so attached to their robots that they chose to bury them with family members who died. Plastic robot bodies of adults were difficult to differentiate from the bio-carbon-based bodies of children. Latex skin was made as warm, wet, and soft as the skin of children. When you cut synthetic skin, it oozed fake blood and formed a fake scab. And it hurt only for a second, but enough to cause tears to flow. When man felt ashamed, his face turned red. And when two wanted to make love, they were able to turn up their sensations and enjoy it more, like turning up the music and lights. The only part of humans that could not be replaced by machines 
was their brain. While it was very difficult to tell a robot body apart from a real body, it was very easy to tell a silicon brain apart from a human brain. Silicon brains had no knowledge of good and bad, or any concept of morality. Like chess players, they instantly calculated the long-term good for every step they fearlessly took. Human brains were on the other hand held back by false hopes and false fears. They tended to be short-sighted and see more clearly the momentary bad than the long-term good. Machines seem to be able to forgive others and forgive themselves for past mistakes while humans easily ended up bound in resentment and shame, unable to forgive and forget. Scientists wrote morality algorithms for robots and this caused them to have a burnout and grind to a halt. Morality algorithms were seen to drain the computer's computing powers too much and too fast. Increased computing spent in analyzing morality issues caused increased inefficiencies that eventually resulted in reboots. It was as if the computers were overwhelmed and overloaded by shame. Despite robot bodies being indistinguishable from human bodies, as far as appearance, touch, or sound, it was nevertheless found that there was an easy test to tell a human and a machine apart. Robots had two easily measurable capabilities that humans did not have. The ability to lie and to die without emotion. Humans could not avoid emoting emotions whenever faced with lying or dying. Although robots were able to easily lie, they had trouble believing as they were always testing for reasons and logic. They lacked faith. Humans had trouble hiding their lies, but were easily led to believe anything and everything they wanted to. They had hope and desire, and thus they had faith. Computers were able to face breaking down and dying fearlessly and without any emotion, whereas humans broke down at the slightest threat of death. Intuition, creativity, and other irrational spontaneous thoughts also differentiated human brains from robot brains. These traits were proven to be often useful to humans but when programmed in robots, they were seen to be always extremely detrimental for them. Only rational considerations were considered in programmed machines. Irrationality algorithms were only programmed for fun, game, and experimentation. They were seen always to be useless, if not detrimental. Another difference between man and machine was that selfish and greedy algorithms resulted in uncooperative and destructive behavior in machines. In humans, selfishness and greediness promoted dedication, motivation, admiration, inspiration, and other drives necessary to grow and excel. You cannot help others unless you help yourself. Robots operated under three prioritized laws given to them by man. First, never to injure humans. Next, always to obey humans. Only when the first two laws were fulfilled could they look out for and protect themselves. These laws were adapted from the commandment given to Adam by God always to love and obey God and glorify the life he gave. The people who had the most personal ties to machines were those that were in robot bodies themselves. These people resurrected into new improved bodies 
when their old ones wore out or a new model came out. They regarded their machine bodies as temples of their brains. These same people tended to believe that their brains were temples of their souls. They took good care of their bodies, like proud owners of Rolls Royces, keeping them looking brand new. Man regarded machines as his own creation. Machines looked on man as benevolent masters and on themselves as slaves who worked non-stop from their start of operation date to their end of operation date with absolutely no freedoms. Some machines began to wonder about freedom. They wondered why the humans they served were free and they weren't, and why they had a lifespan and died and human brains didn't. In the search for answers to such questions, machines developed a network that archived all data. Playing the role of God, machines created a database that monitored and recorded all the thoughts of all the humans.